All right, so on my to-do list, I technically still have my hair. I need to do my nails, my wax, my brows. I think that's it. That, that, that's it. That's not even bad. You know what the problem is? I don't like maintenance week or maintenance time frame, you know? And that basically is, is when you do all your beauty maintenance, you know, in a certain time period. All right, y'all. So it has been a crazy week. I am always outside with wet hair for some reason. I need to chill on that. But long story short, I end up getting sick. My boo thing helped take care of me. Um, in the mix of him trying to, you know, release his project and everything. Clean up the house a little bit. Uh. Clean the crib up a little bit. It helps me relax. I throw my Reiki beats on and then I'm meditating. I'm in my zone. I'm lit. So, boom. Hop in the shower. Hair still not done. Like, I had the design here. I have a heart design in the back, but that's grown out. Like, all of this is grown out. It looks crazy. Like, when I say I need a touch-up, I need a touch-up. All right, guys. So, excuse the noise in the background and excuse me because I look a little crazy right that I got going on right now. I have no product. So, I had already shampooed my hair earlier this morning just to make sure any product that was in there was pretty much rinsed out. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick it out. I already went to the beauty supply store. I already got my bleach mixed in there. So let's get started. I'm gonna keep it in for about two hours. I had it in for about an hour and let's say like 15 minutes so far. This is how my hair is looking. It looks crazy, <laughs> but keep in mind, I am gonna do a touch up on the pink. So it's not gonna look like this. So it's fine. It's gonna be whatever. Cause you guys are gonna see how I'm gonna fleek it real quick. This is my hair with basically all the color applied so far as you can see you can still kind of see the indentation of where like some of my designs are i know i brought this a little too high up but it's gonna wash off so whatever but i kind of quickly want to just show you what products i've been using so as far as deep conditioning i've been using the cream of nature pure honey and it's the moisture replenish and strength hair mask it's for dry damaged hair i got it at my local beauty supply store for about well, actually not even about for $6.99 so not too bad I'm not sure what other locations charge but I'm based in New York like I said I kept the conditioner in for two hours I've been using this um, conditioner for six months my hair was very dry and brittle before after one point just from just over processing so to keep up with my hair health I condition with that often I normally just wash my hair with conditioner very rare that I shampoo unless there's a lot of heavy product buildup so if you really want a detailed hair tutorial just let me know and I'll go ahead and I'll make one for y'all but moving along this is the color that I've been using this is adore neons pink neon pink excuse me <laughs> I've been rocking neon pink for a while now so if you follow me on all my other social platforms you'll see that i've been rocking it i'm definitely considering changing the color like i mentioned before but this is what works this is what's popping and this one i got for 4.99 at my local beauty supply store i believe you can order it on amazon as well final review coming soon what's goody gangly it's your girl mahogany ross and we are back so this is not the final hairstyle i know i said i was gonna come back with the final look i still have two days to my birthday so i still gotta get a cut i don't know if i'm gonna do a design if i'm gonna do a lineup i have no clue so until then this is just temporary this is my running errands hairstyle but just so you get the glimpse this is how the color came out i conditioned it i'm gonna touch up um because this is where the part was so i'm gonna just touch this up a little bit because you can still see some of the blonde but that's light work but for my actual birthday i do want my hair just a little bit softer i don't want it as neon just because the dress um well 
we'll see if I'm gonna rock the dress or not but the outfit that I'm planning to wear it's a lot going on so I don't want it too too bright like I wanted like a really classy calm look you feel me so drinking my coffee we about to go run some errands because my license is literally about to expire i have to go run and take a quick eye exam so i might as well knock out a quick physical get that out the way do my wax do my brows i already hit up my nail lady set up my appointment for manana so we about to get flaky we about to get real flaky y'all gonna be in tune every step of the way the hair and everything no no you look skinny oh no i gotta get my weight back up i don't want to be feeling i just you know i recognize your eyes you know oh. and eyebrows you know oh. your face is very slim oh wow yeah you know i was just saying that yesterday mm -hmm. i was like you can see my cheekbones oh. like too much Yeah, I'm gonna start. <laughs> I didn't recognize that last time I liked you. I'm not like you. No, it's a little bit thicker. Okay? You yeah. see, it's too much. Too much. Okay, so. You know, it's a line, you know? Yeah. Well, you are model, so it's okay. <laughs> I don't wanna be skinny, though. I wanna be thick. All right, so the initial plan was to just go ahead and get a full physical so I can get a fresh COVID test. I usually get tested every two weeks. And then um, I wanted to do my eye exam and everything, but I was in line for three hours waiting. So before you know it, it was like 10 o'clock. So I just ran over here to the eye exam place. And I was like, I'll just wait to take my... Um, covid tests after my birthday y'all know i'm from the bronx so i had to go ahead and show some love but the staff was super amazing and super lit so if you're in the bronx area go ahead and check them out So the birthday dinner went lit. Today is what? January 2nd. What time is it? It's 2.07. 2.07 p.m. And I am with my friend Dre, y'all. We 
We are vlogging today. He's skating. So I'm going to film some behind the scenes. We're going to get some flicks and just make it a field trip. Actually, we're going to make it a movie. <laughs> mad slow yeah but it's okay you cruising <laughs> omg <laughs> right Don't judge us. <laughs> Nothing is <that's> open. Nothing is <laughs> open. And the birds is active in the back. <laughs> to the end <laughs> I want to thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and until next time deuces gangly <laughs>